Storm Team 3 Weather with Tom Kiffin. Tom, it was a beautiful Valentine's Day today. It's definitely a little cold, though, little cold, to yes. start. Uh, one of the coldest mornings we've seen so far this winter. 17 below zero officially at the Weather Service. But here's a cold picture here. Not cold in terms of, you know, negative stuff, but a cold looking picture. But a beautiful sunrise from David Dagnice of Marquette here. And you can see the sun coming up. There's the there's the lighthouse there in the distance and also there's the sun looking towards shop point here just coming up beautiful sunrise but there's the ice there as well thanks dave for sending that in we got other 906 weather watchers photos as well and uh peter from the copper country wanted to know what type of bird this was and everyone commented it on and said it was a gross but definitely he said there was a little bit of snow there today but all in all that's all he wanted to know was what bird it was anyways patty from Scandia sent in the cloud photos today. South of Marquette, mostly sunny today, and she was in the sun there. And you can see some clouds moving on through, but otherwise mainly blue clear skies as you go south of Marquette. Thanks, Patty, for sending that in. And that's all the 906 Weather Watchers we got for today. But we'd love to add more to the photos here. If you want to join our 906 Weather Watchers page and send your photos in, Becca and I would love to share your photos during WJMN Local 3 News. All right, Becca, we're going to go from our 906 Weather Watchers to our local three radar network because we do have some lake effect snow that is starting to move on into parts of the UP. This isn't going to amount to much and mainly it's pretty much going to be right along the Lake Superior shoreline tonight as you go Marquette eastward here. But we do have one lake effect snow band trying to get inland here, but it's not doing a good job and it's hugging the 550 shoreline here from Big Bay and then headed out towards all train and shot point. And then as we take on off towards the east here, we do have more lake effect snow showers and these are like I said really not adding up to much north of Newberry and they're moving towards the south and east here towards M28 from Newberry to Sioux Junction and then over towards Brimley and Sioux St. Marie. So as we look at the temperatures here, it is cold. Got nine below Ironwood. We've dropped to 11 below for Lando Lakes, Wisconsin, one below zero Iron Mountain, one for Escanaba, seven Sawyer International Airport. But temperatures today, not all bad. We had 16 for Sawyer International, 21 Escanaba, 19 Manistique, 18 for Iron Mountain and 15 for Houghton, but cold 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 start this morning. Temperatures in the teens below zero, 16 below zero Escanaba and also Iron Mountain, 21 below zero for Lando Lakes, Wisconsin, 18 below zero this morning for Sawyer International, 14 below zero this morning for Houghton. Officially at the Weather Service today, 17 was today's high, but it was a cold cold start this morning, 17 below zero the low. Downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, we had a low temperature this morning of zero, 17 the high temperature today at downtown Marquette of the U.S. Coast Guard. So away from the immediate shorelines of the Great Lakes and outside of the lake effect snow and clouds, we'll see temperatures fall below zero tonight, perhaps well below zero. We'll make an attempt to go to 20 degrees tomorrow afternoon and then temperatures continue to inch on up after sunset as we go into tomorrow night into early Wednesday morning. But with temperatures going up, that means it's going to be a good southerly wind tomorrow night on into Wednesday. And then as we go into Wednesday evening, you can see much colder air returns to the UP. Speaking of that good southerly wind already tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at a good southerly wind already perhaps gusting over 20, maybe over 30 miles per hour. And then as we go into tomorrow night, we could have some wind gusts over 30, maybe over 40 miles per hour. And then as we take you into Wednesday, you can see the wind still sticks around. But by the time I think we get to this time on Wednesday, we are looking at this wind becoming much colder. So as we look at future weather here, we are looking at some lake effect snow hanging on. Otherwise, we'll see some clearing tomorrow afternoon. The clouds pick up the pace. We'll have some snow move on through here tomorrow afternoon on into tomorrow evening, and that snow chance continues on into tomorrow night. For Wednesday, it's a chance of rain, snow or wintry mix before the much colder air moves on in. And then as we get you into Wednesday on into Thursday, we'll have a few snow showers with some lake effect snow coming off of Lake Superior. Also, there's going to be a pretty good storm system passing to the south of us, and that's going to bring us then that's going to bring lower Michigan some heavier snow potentially. But for us from that storm system, if we get a few snow showers, that's it, folks. As we look at our snowfall, folks, 
as we look at our snowfall as we go into tomorrow as that batch of snow moves on through here we are looking at maybe an inch or two of snow but that's about it any accumulations as we go through Thursday will be light temperatures mild for Wednesday but then turning colder for Thursday Friday and Saturday for both Marquette and also Escanaba.